Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. What we're going to do here is briefly teach you how to type in comments into the command window to help you read what you're doing a little bit easier. So let's say you're doing a complicated calculation. In this case we'll just pick something simple. Let's say you're calculating the area of a circle. Um, so you might want to define, you know, you might want to define the uh, the uh, radius of the of the guy. So you might have r is equal to 2. Um, and then you might want to define that the area is going to be equal to pi times r squared. Now you gotta understand that this is a really simple calculation. You're going to definitely understand that. But if you have a maybe you have five or six variables that you're defining. Maybe you're doing a project that involves you know viscosity and velocity and acceleration and a bunch of other things. You might define a bunch of variables and then you might have two or three equations that you might define. Uh, and then, you know, it would be nice to be able to write some notes to yourself what you're doing here. All right, so the way you do that, to type in something into the MATLAB window that's not a command, you put the percent sign. So this is the radius. So you can type this in. Notice it's not echoed back to the screen. The way you enter a comment is with the percent sign. When you enter the percent sign, that's going to change the color green. Anything you see in green is going to be... Um, completely ignored by MATLAB basically. So I can say radius is equal to 5. Now if I hit enter here it's going to echo it back to the screen. If I want to keep everything tidy I might just put a semicolon there. Now notice how readable that is. It says this is the radius r is equal to 5. Okay so I might type another comment. Um, this is the area. Right? So I might say area is equal to pi times r squared. Pi r squared. Right, and I might want to hit a semicolon there just to keep it readable. So what's going to happen is MATLAB's going to use R, it's going to stick it in here, square it, multiply by 5, and store the result in area. So I'm going to do this, and the area is going to have a value of 78. Of course, I can see that because of the variable that's been updated over here. It does not echo it to the screen because I put semicolons here. Now you see how readable this is. If I come back to this at a later time, I say, and I can even see these comments into the command history window. So even if I clear the screen, like this, come back tomorrow and look through here, I can say, okay, I was defining the radius, I put it into a variable r, I was defining the area, I was putting that into a variable called area, and so I can just come back here and rerun these things if I want to. Of course now everything is still in memory, I can just type in the word area, and I can pull back the value that's of course I can see right here. So these comments are useful when you're just trying to write little notes to yourself to remind yourself, hey, this is the viscosity of oil that I'm dealing with here, or hey, this is the friction due to blah, 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 and you can write a whole paragraph if you want. Anything following that percent sign is going to be ignored. Now another thing you can do, uh, these, these uh, comments do not have to be on their own line. So for instance, if I wanted to say you know something like the diameter of a circle, uh, the diameter, I'm going to say d is equal to 2, right? So I, if I want, I can put the semicolon there. It doesn't really matter. I can hit uh, a few space bars, and I can say, all right, percentage, uh, this is the diameter of the circle. And when I hit enter here, MATLAB is going to execute the first part, but it's going to completely ignore everything after the percent sign. Right, so notice it created a variable d, it put a value of 2 in there, it did not echo it back to the screen, it's only because I put a semicolon there. This is a good way to keep your MATLAB window tidy. If you're just defining things, you don't really need to see it echoed back to the screen, right? You want to keep things tidy so you can read it easy, put your semicolons there. If you decide, you know, you know, not, then not to do that, then you would have something like s is equal to 10, you know, and then I could say, okay, this is the... Uh, smile factor. Let's say there's a there's a smile factor in some equation. I call it s, right? But I don't put a semicolon in there. So it's going to echo s is equal to 10, going to create the variable, and of course this is a note to myself. So it's really up to what you're doing. I mean, I use semicolons a lot when I don't really need to see the results. I know I'm storing a variable in, you know, a value into a variable, so I usually just put semicolons there to keep my window tidy. If I really do need to see the result of what I'm doing, then I'll of course leave the semicolon off. But the purpose of this section is to show you how to create these comments. So go play with that and do that, especially if you're using, you know, complicated uh, calculations. You might be doing using some, you know, calculation here, you might say, I might be calculating the friction, right? So I might have several commands that follow where I'm calculating the, 
the friction. And then way down below, I might say, here I'm calculating the velocity, right? And then I may have several lines here where I'm doing math to calculate the velocity. So when I go back and I look at what I'm doing, I can say, okay, here's what I was doing when I was calculating the friction. Here's what I was doing when I'm calculating the velocity. And if you shut that lap down or you've cleared the screen by accident and you say, oh, it's all gone, all you have to do is come over here, right? And this is a good example of when you might actually want to uh, maximize the command history. Maximize the command history, I can see, okay, Here's what I was doing. I was calculating the friction. I would have some math in here that I would have been doing that would have been present. Here I was calculating the velocity, uh, etc. So that's how you go back there. Let me hit this button to go back to the normal space. So that's how you add comments in MATLAB. It's very useful to keep your, your code tidy and it's going to be even more important later when we write functions and scripts to write these comments so that when you go a year later and figure out what you're trying to do here, you'll know what you were trying to do because you wrote notes to yourself in your code.